Welcome back everyone to Crusader Kings 2 as Howl's Lannister with the Game of Thrones mod. And um, right now, our Hand of the King, Peter the Quarler of House Jast, has just uh, told us that his work is complete. After years of hard work, your holding has been greatly improved. So basically what I did, I spent some 300 gold to improve the castle of Brightwall. So we now, well, we should have a bigger castle, I guess we have to wait for this. Yeah, there you go. Click on it actually and let the game run for what for a few days so let's quickly check this out yeah so we now have instead of nothing we now have a small westerlander keep and we're currently upgrading all kinds of other things and we also have the gold mine so yeah this is this is becoming a really nice castle i really enjoy um yeah i, I enjoy doing this and i'm also obviously building up castly rock itself um now other than that we have uh, we have grown up we're 12 years old well we haven't fully grown up but we have uh, well, been taken on as a squire by uh, by our guardian, who was actually Sandor. But I switched him out for um, Lord Gilbert the Rude because he is much better in diplomacy and military uh, or martial, and that is kind of where we're going for. Uh, we are willful. We are also curious and an idolizer. So this has given us, and this was giving us bonuses for diplomatic education. This for the. Uh, martial education. I went with a diplomatic one because we don't really need to conquer much. At this point, we're so big that we basically just need to rule. So diplomacy is more useful. And um, so yeah, we'll see. We'll see what we get. We are a trained fighter, which is great. Our sister is a trained fighter as well, and she's humble and trusting. And she has the stewardship focus, um, and our hand of the king as uh, guardian. But yeah, uh, one other cool thing I wanted to show you is that there is now a House Lannister, Lord Reaver Tommen Lannister, a zealous man of the Faith of the Seven, a uh, Westerman as well, and he is ruling Harlaw Hill as well as the entire island of Harlaw. So that's really, really cool. And he already has um, a daughter as well. And not to forget, we have um, our uncle, Prince Dunover, uh, who is ruling... Uh, well, as captain of the fleet of Black Tide, and his wife is the Lady of Black Tide. She's uh, Salt Dornish for some reason, and uh, Faith the Seven. But uh, yeah, it's Tommen who's going to inherit this. So he will have Harlow Hill as well as Black Tide. And that's going to give him a significant strength here. He'll probably start converting, and so maybe at some point we can uh, we can attack the Iron Islands. Uh, maybe with Princess Helia. If she's converted to the Seven, we might be able to attack the Presser Claim and attack the Iron Islands. That'd be kind of cool, and um, yeah, then we could have the Lannisters as little paramounts or so. That'd be that'd be amazing. And um, one other cool thing I just want to mention is that House Card is ruling the Iron Islands because we went to war with uh, with them once again. Another bloody vengeance war. You saw this one against Iron King Tristan, and then I went uh, to war with Iron King Dagmar Drum as well. And he wouldn't see reason he wouldn't want to pay us uh, retribution. Uh, rec Recompensation or whatever, uh, so I had to kill him as well. And now we have a card king who uh, who paid us, so he's he's uh, he's allowed to stay king. The Stormans are currently in turmoil, and our mother was uh, fighting a civil war as well. But we actually formed an alliance; she would accept, and so we we helped her defeat the rebels, uh, which is which is cool. We're actually <gasps> wait, when did that happen? Why are we the heir to Dawn? What? Wait, that's... Hold on. That I just saw that. It's now a Knatic Cognatic Primogenitor. Wow, okay, so she must have changed her succession laws. Maybe it was a faction? Oh, I just noticed that. That's actually really cool. So all of our problems are kind of solved. That's amazing. That is actually amazing. Alright, we'll have our Hand of the King. Mm, pro well, you know what? Mm, I've been thinking about... Maybe we want to improve this keep one more time. I think I actually will do that. We'll wait until uh, this building is complete, the castle town, and we'll start, uh, yeah, we'll start improving. Oh, oh, wow, actually, that's very expensive. All right, never mind. Um, all right, in that case, what do we need? We need modest estates. We need guard stations. All right, let's go build guard stations too, and we'll just uh, have our hand of the king oversee the realm. Perfect. So, yeah, we've got uh, some three years left of regency. Um, and not really much to do. I mean, we've got our, well, um, I don't know, somehow related person uh, ruling the uh, ruling the Trident. She's currently at war with Mir, uh, fighting, or actually Pentos, uh, never mind, fighting an Emancipation War. And, um, well, our kinsman Arlen Lannister is going to inherit the Trident. And uh, I think he's also going to inherit the claim 
on the Stormland, so they might uh, they may take that over as well. But if we're now actually the heir to Dawn, then we're gonna have our four kingdoms as soon as our mother dies, and yeah, that's that's that that's act that's that's amazing. I didn't know that would happen. Cool. Well, anyways, um, then um, I guess we'll uh, skip forward the last three years, and then uh, yeah, I'll show you what uh, what we've become. We're now 14 years old, which means uh, in a yeah, in a couple of months, we're going to be of age. That means no more Regency, no more Guardian, none of that. We will be a king on our own right with no one telling us anything, uh, yeah, anything at all, really. Now, um, we want to get married. That's the only ambition I could really pick, so I felt like that's good. I decided to um, betroth Lady Amina Florent because House Florent is now the new Lord Paramount of the Reach. They have overthrown House... Willem, uh, or I should say that Lady Alice has given in to faction demand, and we now have Lord Paramount Byron Florent uh, ruling the reach, which is okay. I made him my keeper of the swans and advisor, and um, after my grandmother died, by the way. So um, yeah, he is he wants to become regent, which is kind of interesting, but yeah, um, that's okay. So I decided to marry his firstborn daughter just to cement the alliance, right? Because they obviously knew we didn't put them in there. But yeah, we now had sort of a strange dream um, of the carpenter's daughter. I could decide what to do. Um, and I, I wanted to check it out because I haven't had it before. So after weeks of waiting for the right opportunity, I find myself behind the barn alone together with the carpenter's daughter that my heart has been longing for. My palms are sweaty and my chest is pounding. I think, um, mm, I mean, we're a zealous man, we're an honest man. We could declare our, our love, but I don't know if that's true. I think we'll just kiss her on the cheek. I think that's probably what we're gonna go for. I guess that doesn't mean anything. I guess nothing's gonna happen. I don't know if this uh, event chain continues, uh, but I guess we'll, we'll check out. Um, you're fed up with always losing games. Uh, I've seen that before. We are already ambitious and honest, which is good. And now it seems like we're becoming ruthless as well. Uh, we had to change our guardian once again because the other one died. Um, okay, so you've stopped playing by the stupid rules. We're now ruthless. Interesting. And... Uh, thinking about things, I have concluded that everything in the world is not as the priests say it is. Okay, I'm apparently now fashionable. Okay, that's not too bad. Um, spouse attraction, extra diplomacy. Okay, cool. Mm, bit of a ruthless man. Ooh, you know what that means. I know what that means. You know what that means as well, right? We're going to become of age, or we're going to come of age, and we're going to have to kill our mother. Here's the thing. She... She is gonorrhea, she's a lunatic, and uh, she's depressed. But most importantly, she is what's stopping us from forming the Kingdom of Westeros. That's what we want, we're a very ambitious man. Um, but yeah, the end justifies the means we don't, I don't think we want to wait. Unless we get the patient trait, I think we might. Then again though, hmm, then again it was zealous. So we wouldn't really do, we wouldn't really kinslay. Ah. Alright, well, otherwise I would have thought we might kill our mother. Okay, I guess in that case, we're not going to kill our mom. I guess we're not going to kill our mom. Alright, alright, fine. Uh, let's move on. Let's move on. <sighs> but we are ruthless. But yeah, the, zealous, the zealousness probably lets us not attack her. And yeah, so Lord Umford III uh, of House Lannister, he and this dude, they keep usurping uh, Iron Oaks from each other, which is kind of funny. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. If that will ever stop, but I thought that's funny. Okay, now we are. Ooh, we look actually pretty cool. Look at that. Very nice. We still have a regent, King Sandor. It might actually, we might actually keep him for another year. That's possible. And uh, Lord Lyman of Ultana has amassed more power than he's supposed to. Uh, sure. I mean, yeah, yeah. I guess, I guess. We don't want to have. We don't want uh, Vast to have two high lordships. That's not necessary. And Storm Queen Layla was murdered on the orders of Flora Dondarion. Ah, look at that. Flora Storm. So who's ruling now? We've got King Starmion. King Starmion of the Stormland. Starmion Durandon. Well, he's two years old. How well is he going to do? But we are certainly going to join... I think we're going to join that uh, tournament there at uh, Castamere. And... Um, yeah, we still have a regency, so we can't actually decide on anything on ourselves, which is which is fine. Lyanna Lannister is now known as the Mad. Well, I mean, yeah, not really surprised there. I wonder how long she's going to live. 
Might be that she's gonna die soon anyways. She wants to fall in love. Okay, yep. Uh, we didn't really do too well in that tournament. My uh, sister, she is not yet married to anyone because I couldn't really find anyone. Wow, heart's pain. Maybe Lord Tarly. But ma marrying someone just because of a sword doesn't really make much sense. Maybe Lord of Blackhaven, Dondarian. Uh, I mean, actually, you know what? We have to go for the matrilinear marriage because she's our heir. I don't really want to uh, mess up anything. We cannot marry her off to anyone not of the Faith of the Seven. That wouldn't really work. A Dane? Edric Dane. Sir Edric Dane. Hmm. He's a skilled fighter. His dual skills only two. Ah, uh, I don't know. Brawny, he's a kinslayer. Yeah, I'm not really too sure about that. Uh, but we have built modest estates in Brightwall. Do we have money to build something else? I wonder. Guard stations? No, we don't actually have enough money to build the castle town yet. Wow. Alright. I mean, I guess that's fine. And, um... Hmm. Yeah, I guess that's good for him. Fought well. But yeah, we're not participating, so that's kind of sad. I would have wished to uh, participate. Now, I wonder, is there anything we can do? Can we go on a tour or something? No. Looks like we are, uh, we're just going to grow up. Nothing particularly important is going to happen. How old is my wife? She's nine years old. All right. Lord Gilbert. Uh, yeah, it's not, I can't really do anything there. And Jack and Stone wants to join us. No, I don't. I mean, yeah, you're 17 marshals. Okay, but it's not that exceptional. It was like 25 marshal. I'll probably take you. But uh, other than that, you're pretty shit. So I don't need it. Thank you very much. Will not command to end any wars. King of the Stormlands can be claimed for uh, Pate Durandon. Uh, don't see why I should. So I will not do it. Uh, oh, and right. I've been fabricating claims on Pike because of our zealousness. And I think that also makes sense. So we're going to use that claim. Certainly. And I guess... I guess we'll go to war with the uh, Card King. Actually, we're kind of seek request for raiding as well. He's accepting. Well, sadly, that doesn't help him at all. Because we're going to declare the war for Pike anyways. So there you go. And um, surely our people will honor their obligations. I'm actually going to call in my mother too. Yeah, you can help me with this. And uh, we need a new advisor role. That is because... Right, the Lord Paramount. I'll actually give that to... Hmm... Who do I like? I like this guy. Well, that's just some dude. Alright, we'll give it to the Lord of Castamere. And we'll raise our forces. Just our vassal forces. But not the Vale forces. Thank you very much. Oh, that's 10,000 men we can raise from the Vale. That's pretty powerful. And you can stand down as well. Thank you. Okay, now we gotta make sure that we don't fight our family here in uh, Harlaw. That would be terrible. Um... Okay, the uh, Lord Paramount, House Florent is joining, and so is my mother, uh, the Princess of Dawn. And the wall can certainly do without. I'm not concerned right now. <sighs> yeah, whatever. Um, okay, so we're getting everyone together. How many men is that? 25. Oh, that's a lot. Alright, we'll raise our fleets. We can actually raise quite a few ships. Sort of surprised by that. 100 ships. Wow, this is getting better and better. Alright, so we'll bring them all to Lannisport. I'll get you together. Now, that's about half of our forces that we can uh, transport with our ships here. Pretty impressive. Pretty impressive. Hmm. Let's get rid of this. Sure. Get you together. 10,000 men. And we'll attack Pike. Yeah, actually, you know what? Hmm. Maybe I'm going to go and besiege... Uh, besiege... Orkment or what? No, what is this? Uh, this is Oldwick, right? We'll siege that first, take it out, and then uh, we've got the capital under control. The vassal of the rock now view us with respect. That is actually really cool. Fear is at forty-nine. Hmm. Our tyranny went away, which is uh, amazing. And yeah, I should probably send you to claim Orkment. Probably go for Orkment, yeah. And uh, we'll quickly siege this down. Awesome. Now. I s assume that he's sending over his own forces. Um, I guess we'll s we'll actually go here. Because I'm not really sure what he's doing right now. Yeah, he's sending... It okay, you know what? We're going to move... Yeah, we're going to march on to Pike. We don't actually have enough men. Uh, kind of surprising. And our regency has ended. Sando is still alive. Man, a stressed man. But uh, he did well. And we are a gruff diplomat. Not exactly the best, but it's alright. 
And as for our... Okay, we are very ambitious, man. We are also ruthless. But we're also... It's interesting, we're honest, but ruthless at the same time. And we're zealous. I would probably go with theology right now. Probably. Yeah, we'll go with theology and see what uh, what that gives us. And a new designated regent. Well, I mean, he's just done such a good job. We have to appoint Sandor. Uh, one thing I will also do is, as High Almana, I want my, I want my sister. Yeah. And as Cupbearer, who do I like particularly? Uh, Sebastian, Lord of the Arbor. Well, anyone who has maybe a bit more skill, maybe Lord of uh, a Master of Whispers. Fine, I'll have you as cupbearer. Okay, anything? Yeah, okay, we gotta have to destroy these men. Should be too difficult. And then we have to send them over here to uh, to Pike, because we won't have enough men to besiege the castle. That's gonna be an incredible, powerful uh, province to have. Because, uh, you know, there's a lot of... A lot of uh, levy and garrison. Huge I uh, island of fortress there. Iron island of fortress. Okay, you are smashed. And... Um, Loroma has been killed. Ooh, grievous news indeed. But we win the battle, regardless. And, uh, I mean... Ooh, look at that. Look who didn't join. Lord Reva. I wonder if I can... Oh, I can offer vassalization. Let's go ahead and do that. Oh, that's sweet. I hope that this will stay. It probably won't stay. It probably won't stay. But that would be really freaking cool if that would stay. Uh, okay, well... Hmm. But anyways. Ah, oh, that would be amazing. If we could keep him as uh, as our dude, oh, that'd be amazing. That would be so cool. Alright, you know what? I'll actually raise... I oh, can't raise your men. Alright, well, uh... Hmm. I have to leave a few men here. Yeah, like that. Okay, we can only pick up these 10,000. And we'll bring them right here. Yep, sweet. And you can besiege this. And you can just stay here in the bane fort. For now. You inherited... Uh, Hangmire. Or something. Yeah, you might hold on to it, actually. It's quite possible. And do we still have that Ironborn in... Yeah, we, sh we still have her imprisoned. Uh, well, she's not yet converted. So we'll, we'll keep her there. Until she does. And then we can see. Um, some card... What happened to him? Died in the dungeons. Oh, interesting. That must have been, like, from a while ago. And what is... What's what's going on with you now? You are now defending. Wait, what? Why would you do that? Huh. Why is he now defending against me? That sucks. Alright, well... Still, I don't really want to besiege it, though, so... I don't know. I will dedicate more time reading the scriptures... Sure, I always have time for that. Always. Okay. So this is a little bit annoying. Do I siege this down? Probably. I, yeah, I'll assault it. Yeah, because this is actually held directly by the king. And we feel new appreciation for one of the vassals here. Wow, but Pike is just incredible. I mean, I guess we got 30,000 men. We might as well storm the castles. Yeah, Pike has, uh, has fallen. And, uh... You know, oh, look at this, Damien, our, our Master of Coin is amazing, he's given us so much money. But yeah, um, we will storm this city as well. Uh, in the past few months, you have been spending many nights reading the seven-pointed star. Texts contain many items of wisdom and also give hints to the most important mysteries of the Father. Awesome. Extra learning. Sweet. But yeah, as I said, we will uh, assault this as soon as we can. It does take quite a, f quite a long time, actually. And we'll... Yeah, we'll just take it over now. Should be too difficult at this point. One more day. Sweet. That's 73%. Have we taken all... Nope. And then Black Tide I'll leave alone. Because I don't want to hurt my family, necessarily. Um, And you should probably move on to Lordsport. Yeah. And we'll besiege this. Okay, there's more... Wait, did they unsiege this? No, I, I only took the uh, main holding though. That's uh, that's something. Okay. Um. Ooh, look at that. Your grace, I'm dearly hesitant to ask, but the coffers of your lord's subjects are running dry. So yeah, we'll play keep them. Oh, we have a lot of 
Diplomacy, that's very nice to know. We do have high enough diplomacy to really <laughs> convince them. Uh, what's this? Uh, sure. I will order him to stand down. Whatever that might mean. I mean, yeah, I guess. No, it, it's correct. Sieges of Wickenden. We'll adopt the martial ideas. Who are... Where are we being... Oh. All these ships I don't need. Okay, so this is where the... I see. This is where the Ironborn have landed. Sieging us in, uh, in the Vale. Well, I mean... I'm not particularly interested in fighting them in the Vale, to be honest. Um... We'll uh, obligate the vassal. Sure. Um, yeah, and we'll uh, support this as well. Yeah, so they keep changing. They keep usurping these titles from each other. It's kind of funny. Ah, whatever. Okay, can we... Uh, I don't care about the wall right now. Let me just end this war. Lord Gorgon of Riverrun. Oh, declared a war of tyranny against uh, Karenna. This is not going well. Look, oh my god, it's the entirety of the uh, of the Riverland, basically, rising up against Corena. Well, Arlen, hopefully, uh, is he going to inherit? I don't know. Maybe. We shall see. But you know what? I'll actually, uh, I'll pick up a few more men here. Come on. Uh, I need these 2,000. And we'll just put him somewhere. Like, probably over here. The, that's the best. Alright, and I'll just uh, assault this. I want this. I want this war to be over with. This is maybe not the smartest move. And the peasant revolt in Dawn, fighting my mother. Right, is my mother even sending over troops? She's got some 9,000 men. She should be. But well, anyway, um, come on. Let's take this. Alright, there we go. Still not enough. Alright. Hmm. Fine, we'll uh, send over the extra men, so this should be a little bit easier to do. Okay, perfect. 15,000 men attack. Oh, we can't. Because we're not the one leading this. Uh, really? And Yogan Kaw died in dungeons. And Kurana died of severe stress. So we now have... Oh, look at that. Arlen III, ruling the Trident. And it's actually... Storm Queen Leah Durandon inheriting for some reason. She's married to a malice the bastard. Okay, do you want a uh, non aggression pact? You do not. That sucks. You will ask for an alliance at some point, I know it. Um, just not right now. Okay, that means we have lost one of our master, sh our master ships. Okay, we'll appoint someone later, but for now, we gotta win this war. Come on, please. Excellent news from our Hand of the King. Extra money. Come on, 99%. And, uh, ooh, in recognition of your glory and honor, a Saptan offers to anoint you with the holy, holy oils and grant you knighthood. Oh, very nice. So, may the warrior guide my path. Awesome. So, we are now a knight, and, um, do I want to give my master arms a reward? I think so. Sure. I mean, quite frankly, I don't like him. Why? Oh, he doesn't like me. I like him. All right, there you go. You have your reward, then. Ah, uh, and their attack on the Vale. Had I known that they would attack the Vale, I probably would have brought... I probably would have raised their forces. Um, but oh well. The Dawn is besieging, uh, Hollow Hill. And wow, there's a lot of things to take over. And apparently we have a, uh, traitor. Huh. Interesting. Uh, okay, still, can we please just win this war? Christ's sake. Alright, finally. Offer the peace. Alright. Cool. So, uh, we'll move on to Pike. The The really cool thing about owning Pike is also that um, we can then stand on our forces here. And we don't have to... Uh... Oh! And did he actually join us? Oh my god, he actually joined us. That is so cool. So we'll definitely... You know what? I will... Uh... I'll make you... You know what? No, I'll make you probably Master Ships. Yeah. My cousin. We'll reappoint the old council. We'll see what is missing now. But a high admiral, yes, that is going to have to be not Sandor. It will be it will be you. Just because he joined us. Actually I can't I can't appoint him. Uh why not? 
I cannot make him a counselor. All right, let's let's go forward for now. Hold on. Let's stand on my ships. Stand them down. And uh, oh, what's this now? Um, no, Lord Damien. He's been he's he's doing so well for us. Uh, is he actually slandering me? Those are just rumors, though, aren't they? I don't think he I don't think he's doing that. So you know what? We'll keep this to ourselves because he's been providing us with so much money. He's been a loyal man. Okay, now, let's quickly check this out here. We've got a new council position. Can I give this? The Lord of the Giants lands? I cannot give this to him. I want to make him master of ships. Why is that not possible? Hmm. That kind of bothers me, actually. Alright, we have too much... Uh, too much holdings, or too many holdings. Hmm. I mean, I guess I could something to... Yeah, to my sister... Hmm, perhaps. I don't know. Um, maybe, maybe this girl, if she converts, will give it to her husband or something like that. I'll have to think on it. Um, as for the council, I mean, if, if I, I guess I'll, <sighs> fine. Anything, any other position? You know what? I'll give this to Sandor, though. Yeah, he's kept off my household guard. I kind of want him to be master of ships. Because he kind of deserves that position, doesn't he? Yeah. And uh, as for the sworn shield thing, I'll give that to... Well, I don't really have much of a choice here. Lancelin. And Master of Horse will be... Lord Paramount of the Reed. No, he will be Keeper of Swans. And Master of Horse... Who could that be? I can only give this... Alright, fine. I guess I'll give that to you. Because you actually... I mean, he, he wouldn't have to... He didn't have to do this, but, you know, this way, we not only gained... Oh, but we're no longer getting Black Tide, right? Because it's now Lana Lannister inheriting Black Tide. Actually, no, that's correct. So, we'll actually, we'll have Harlaw. We took Pike, we got Harlaw, and we're also going to get Black Tide. And then we might be, even be able to uh, take the Iron Islands like that. Anyways, though, that was it uh, for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, it's looking really good. I think uh, soon enough, Westeros will be formed and uh, then everything will be united under the Lion Banner. It's going to be great. G great. G great. Glorious and great. Anyway, see you next time.